For the third arthropod class, class Insecta, we're going to be focusing on the respiratory and lymphatic systems. The respiratory system in insects is actually completely separate from the circulatory system and referred to as the tracheal system. It is made up of a series of complex tubes that transport air all throughout the body. Air enters the insect's body through something called a spiracle, which is an opening in the exoskeleton typically found on the abdomen or thorax of the insect. Spiracles are opened and closed by valves controlled by small muscles. Once air enters a spiracle, it will go into a longitudinal tracheal trunk and from there diffuse to every other part of the body. Carbon dioxide is removed from the insect's body using the same system. Interestingly enough, rate of gas diffusion is the main factor in limiting the size of insects and the reason why most insects are relatively small. Insects don't actually have a dedicated lymphatic system. Instead, hemolymph fulfills this role through the use of cells called hemocytes and proteins. Insects have what is called innate immunity, which means their immunity is passed down from their parents. Innate immunity includes cellular, chemical, and physical responses to pathogens. While innate immunity can defend against pathogens and recognize them from other microorganisms, it does not include a specific immune response. While hemocytes are responsible for defending against pathogens, they are also responsible for synthesizing and transporting things like hormones and nutrients to ensure proper growth and wound healing. We are now going to look at a spiracle under the microscope. Draw what you see on your handout and answer the remaining questions for this station. Here is a view of a spiracle under the microscope. So you can see the opening in the middle and that is where gas will be entering or exiting the body of the insect. And like I mentioned, it is controlled by small muscles, so it can be closed or opened wider if needed, and you can see those small muscles to an extent around the opening in the middle. After you draw this on your handout and answer the other questions, you can proceed to the next station.